All right, here we are in FL Studio. Um, this is less of a how to fix something and more of a how to put a Band-Aid on something slash maybe you have some better ideas out there. Um, so I don't use my pitch wheel on my keyboard very often, but today I did and I noticed an issue. So if I right click, link to controller, and then use my pitch wheel on my keyboard, it seems fine, I can go all the way, both directions, but when I let go, it's off. And I can see how much it's off if I go to uh, options, debug log, and as I trigger it, zero, 100, and I let go, it's off by 3%. Um, and you can see that there. I can reset it, right click, reset, but I'm not going to do that every time, obviously. Um, you know, obviously, if you're using automation, it's not an issue. It's a keyboard thing, and it is a keyboard thing. It's not FL Studio because I found the same problem happening in Ableton Live. So in FL Studio, you can right click, link to controller, and then you have this mapping formula uh, option, which is pretty powerful. I really don't understand it fully, but you can just put math in here and, you know, trigonometry, all that kind of stuff that you learned, you know, in math class will now apply in here because you can create, you know, curves and do all kinds of fun stuff, um, you know. So if the syntax is, uh, I'm not fully grasping it, but I noticed you got input times four or whatever. So if I just click on this, when I let go, oh, did that, pushed it all the way to the right. So I realized, okay, that's somewhere close to what I needed. Um, after fooling around with it a bit, um, I came up with these values. So if it's in the center, the way my keyboard or my uh, pitch wheel is off, uh, this won't you know work on everyone's, but because mine's off by 3%, if I do this, it'll be close to what I need it to be. That said, now if I right click and uh, link this as well to the same pitch wheel, I have, to I have to remove this conflict button in order to have multiple um, parameters controlled by one controller. Um, but now, if and it also removes the code, the um, what I put in there earlier. So put that in there, link it, and sometimes it's a little buggy, and you have to do it multiple times. Um, make sure the the uh, mod wheel. I also noticed that the modulation wheel, if it's not all the way down, if it's like in a, in a middle position, it's ever so slightly moving kind of all the time. So I have to make sure it's down or it'll, tr it'll have issues. So let's see if we try it, right click, link to controller. Okay, now it's working. And it's it's kind of a diminishing return. See how it's pretty decent here, but now it's a little worse here. And uh, let's just for edification, let's remove that one. Go back in and accept. So it's like it's not perfect. You kind of would have to futz with it. This is like again not really a solution I really want, but it'll you know it makes it slightly more usable than before whereas it was just kind of way off you know so each parameter has a different resting state um in this instance like three fourths so if i link that normally it would rest with the pitch wheel at like that state but because it's off that three percent it's not it's not perfect so if I want to use the pitch wheel for this application, uh, I will need to put in the seemingly arbitrary value of uh, times 1.49 for the uh, for the parameter offset, which gets me pretty much where I want to go. It took some futzing to get there, but it doesn't doesn't look too bad. There's programs out there. I was watching other videos that you know they go in between and they intercept. Uh, and they, you can make, you know, changes, uh, but yeah, so I'll, you know, link to some other videos maybe and comment down below. All right. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye.